Welcome back to the MLG Hot Pockets pregame show. I'm Chris Puckett, and now joining me in the booth, Scott Lucier, Chris Smith, better known as Shockwave. Shockwave, you're not a, a you're, I guess it's not your first time on the pregame show, but it is your first time hosting. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good. I like to be up here for the regular show, not just an interview. Stranger is that word I was looking <laughs> for. Stranger. You're no stranger to the pregame show. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Anyway, guys, we need to talk about Halo Reach. The Doritos Combine, our first ever Halo Reach competition. What are you guys expecting to see this weekend? I'm expecting to see a lot of action, a lot of good action. I mean, I have not played as much Halo Reach as I would have liked, so I can't wait to go out there and see what all these guys are doing. And, you know, we have some very awesome pro scouts here this weekend. Ogre One was flown all the way from Australia. Thank you, Doritos, for hooking that up. And Darkman is also here at this event. Guys, how awesome is it for some of the amateur players to have legends coaching them and evaluating them this weekend? You know, like you said, Chris, they are legends. The, these are the guys who I looked up to. I modeled my play style after Ogre One. He is the real deal. And to have him evaluate these kids, it's like a dream come true. I would have loved to be in their position. And we have Darkman, MLG's first ever pro. He's also evaluating, Chris. I can't believe Darkman's here. I mean, he's one of the players that was originally, like you said, the original MLG pro. He's incredible, incredibly talented, and he's one of the players I've always looked up to every time I play this game. And now those aren't the only big names here in the house. With Reach, we're seeing the return of a lot of other pro players that we haven't seen in a couple seasons. Who do you want to give a shout out to? I know you've been walking the floor, ran into a couple people. Well, you know, I saw Clockwork, Chris, who is your first teammate who you got third with on Ogre's practice noob squad. I was stunned to see him here. Last time I saw him, he knocked me out in AGP3. Yeah, and Clockwork, former member of SDK, he played with the Ogres. And Chris, we also ran into Vash and Mac. Yeah, those are old teammates of me and Scott, both guys, old school Halo 2 players, very good at the game. So veterans are in the house. Thank you, Halo Reach, for bringing them back. Love to have it. But guys, the game's been out for about a month now. I want to get your impressions on the game. Starting off with you, Chris, what do you think about a game so far? Uh, I personally love the DMR. I personally, I love the fact that it's not a three-round burst anymore, sort of like the BR was in Halo 2 and Halo 3. The DMR's got the single shot, the registers, it registers a whole lot better, and I just love the weapons all around in Halo Reach. And you know, Chris, I, I agree with the DMR, but on the whole, I have to give it to the armor, the, uh, the armor abilities. I mean, they add a whole new aspect to the Halo world that we're not used to. Strategies are going to be made for them, different positions, they'll be more beneficial. And me personally, I like Sprint. I hope LG includes it in everything. I love running faster on the map. Gets me quicker to the sniper. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Scott, sniper, it goes hand in hand. Well, guys, you know, we also have to talk about Halo Reach coming out, brand new game, but everyone's still kind of back in the Halo 3 groove. New competitive title out there. How do you adjust to the new game? Uh, I think the key for, the, for Halo Reach is going to be to kind of have come in with an entirely new mindset. You're almost going to need to throw out everything you know in Halo 2 and, and Halo 3 and just kind of take the game step by step, learn what works, learn what doesn't, and apply it to your game. And you know, for me, it's, it's all about the passion. I mean, it happened to me. When you're used to being on top of the world and you're the main slayer and then a new game comes out and all these young guys come up, you just can't lose your passion. Eventually, it's going to click. If you have the talent, you, you just have to be patient with it. The game will click eventually. I wish I would have had the patience because I love how Halo 3 turned out this year. And I have to say, guys, I'm already kind of getting bored of the matchmaking settings. Come on, Bungie here. But uh, MLG Playlist, hopefully something that we'll be working on. Kill KC has been at the grind. What would you guys like to see? I know the audience out there, they want to know, what do the legends Shockwave and Gandhi want to see in MLG game types? Uh, I really am looking towards the maps. I want to see some really good maps made out there. Unfortunately, Bungie didn't seem to put as many competitive maps in, a lot of large maps in their selection, but I know there's the Forge and Halo Reach is out of control. There's going to be some great user-submitted maps for MLG to use. Yeah, I just want to see how the armor abilities come into, in, it come into play. I mean, there's so many different things, and right now we have, we're using them as power-ups, but I think if we start off the game with everyone having the ability to pick, I think that's going to add a completely new objective to the game. All right, well, you know, I'm pretty nasty with the jetpack, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Love to see that. Guys, remember right now we have map submissions on the forums. If you love to make maps, if you want to be a game designer one day, this is your first chance to get your foot in the door. If you make an awesome MLG custom map, we might be using it on the pro circuit next year. So head over to the forums, check out the Forge threads. It's pretty awesome stuff going on. Guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for our Halo Reach discussion. When we come back, we'll talk about the incredible Halo 3 tournament that's going on this weekend.